Good evening, high school basketball fans. Welcome to WHS TV's second boys basketball game. Tonight's sure to be an exciting matchup as the Maslin Tigers take on the Phoenix from Andrew Osborne Academy. The Phoenix is currently 10 and 2, um, and some key players for the Phoenix are Oscar Alcobendez, TJ Chapman, and Brandon Charles. The Tigers are currently 4 and 6, coming off of a win against Warren Harding, looking to push their record to five and six. Some key players for the Tigers are Anthony Pedro, Brett Martin, and Darian Williams. Everyone here at WHS TV would like to thank the following local advertisers for their support of our coverage of Mass and Tiger boys and girls basketball this season on MCTV channel 611 and 11. Reliable heating and cooling, the boys and girls club of Maslin, discount tire outlet, Medicat Pharmacy, Tower Industries, Friends and Family Credit Union, Mercy Cancer Center, Home Appliance, Expert Auto Collision, Maslin AAA, Your Pizza of Maslin, and MCTV. Pretty good underway here. Both teams warmed up and ready to go. Now the Tigers have a lot of injured players tonight with players Trayvon Morgan, Andrew Wilson Lamp, and Nick Leibler all being out due to injuries. So let's see if they're able to recover and triumph despite that. Starters for the Phoenix are Sydney Adams, Oscar Alcobendez, TJ Chapman, Brandon Charles, and Richie Thompson. For the Tigers starting tonight, we have Anthony Pedro, Jaden Stock, Brett Martin, Darian Williams, and Luke Sato. Be sure to join, a, join WHS TV for our next broadcast of Mass and Tigers Girls Basketball on Wednesday, February 6th. Our Lady Tigers take on Lake here at the Tiger Gym. Watch the rebroadcast starting on Thursday, February 7th and at 8 p.m. Then on February 8th, 9th, and 10th at 12, 4, and 8 p.m. Tune in all season long for Tigers boys and girls basketball on WHS-TV. That's MCTV, channel 611 and 11. Both teams get ready for the tip here. For the Phoenix, they have Brandon Charles, and for the Tigers tipping, they have Brett Martin. And the Tigers tip it. However, saved by the Phoenix, and the Tigers will get it back. Brett Martin with the ball. Passes to Williams. Martin with the pick. Martin for three. Won't go, however, Sable will recover and put it back up. That won't fall either. Rebound in here by number two, Thompson. Shots up and in by number four, Alco Bendez.
Yeah, Martin with the ball, shooting a fader, and that one sinks. Seven minutes left here in the first quarter. Got Thompson with the ball. Pass to Alka Bendez. Three is up by Chapman, and that's six as well. Tigers trying to get a fast break. Phoenix managed to stop it. Say with a Martin who's wide open. He'll dunk it. What a play. Very aggressive play there by Brent Martin. Ball's tipped by Williams. However, it's covered. Shot is up and in. Shot attempt up and in by Sabo. Chapman with the ball. Pass to Aqua Bendes who goes up. No good. Rebounded by Martin. 5.40 remaining in the first quarter. Martin for three. No good. Rebounded by Thompson. And the shot is up. Number 22. Adams. No good. And Williams loses control of the ball. It's taken by Alco Bendez. Pass to Chapman. Pass in is deflected by Martin. Taken by Stock. Williams with the ball. Martin with the pump fake drive and he'll get an easy layup there as a result. 4.45 left in the first quarter. Thompson with the ball. He got Chapman for three. No good. It's going to be out off Martin. Tigers ball. No, Phoenix ball. My apologies. Substitution for the Phoenix. You got number 33, Charles, coming out. Subbing in for him is going to be number 23, Sminchak. And a three is up and no good by number 22, Adams. Tigers with the rebound. Tigers passing the ball around. Three by Sabo. No good. Rebounded by Sminjack. Thompson with the ball. Drives in. Goes up. And that's a layup for the Phoenix. 340 left. Pass into Martin. Ball's knocked loose. It's going to be a reach and call on number three, Chapman. Substitution for the Tigers. You got Pedro and Williams coming out. Coming in is going to be number 15, Robertson. And number 22, Wise. Ball's knocked loose by Sminchak. Martin recovers it. Got Robertson with the ball. Pass to Stock. Martin backs down. And the drive by Wise. No results. But Martin gets it. Tips it back up. No good. With the ball right now is Chapman. Drive. A foul is going to be called. And he'll get the bucket. Great shot there by Chapman. With just over three minutes remaining. 
Chapman is one of the three players in the team who has at least 15 points per game. This is a very impressive scoring team, and his shot will sink. Three minutes remaining in the first quarter. Robinson with the ball. And the drive, no good, number 22 wise. Thompson goes up. It's not gonna count as the Tigers had a reaching call before the shot. Subbing in, you got Williams coming in for number 15, Robertson. Just over two and a half minutes left. And shot is in by Alco Bendez. Martin with the ball. Pass into Wise who gets the layup. Two minutes remaining. Oh, he trips up, managed to get the pass off there to Thompson for three. Great play there by Chapman as he, since they was going down, managed to get the ball to Thompson who got three. Sabo tries to save it. No good. The Phoenix are gonna take it. Chapman pulls up for three. And that's going to sink as well. The timeout was called by the Tigers. With 1.30 remaining here in the first quarter. And now a word from Home Appliance. Home Appliance Company has been serving Northeast Ohio since 1975, and we look forward to serving Massillon and the surrounding communities for many years to come. Our experts specialize in helping you find the appliances that work for your home and family. Visit our showroom to see the latest in name brand products, including Frigidaire, GE, Maytag, and many more. At Home Appliance Company, you'll get best in product, best in service, and best in price. Stop by or find our full line of products online. Thank you, Home Appliance. Back into the action. The Phoenix currently lead the Tigers 20 to 10 with a minute and a half remaining here in the first quarter. With the ball is Williams. Pass to Martin who pulls up. Great shot, Martin manages to get a shot in. Chapman with the ball. Thompson drives in and pulls up. No good. Spinchak gets the rebound and puts it back up. That's not going to sink either. However, Thompson managed to come back and finish it off. Williams with the ball. Pass to Martin who pulls up for three. No good. Rebounded by Pedro who's going to go back up. And Thompson's going to pull it down. Alco Bendez slips off and it goes out of bounds. Tigers will take it. Thirty-three seconds remaining in the first quarter. Williams to Edwards. Williams pitches it into Martin, who goes for a fader. No good. And stock for three. Nothing but net there with 10 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Adams with the ball. Spin check loses control, but Adams gets it back, and he gets the easy layup with two seconds left. Williams puts a shot up, no good. That's the end of the first quarter. Phoenix currently lead 24-15. And now a word from our friends over at Friends and Family Credit Union and Mercy Cancer Center. 
Are you looking for something different? At Friends and Family Credit Union, our success is defined by you. Our goal is to improve your financial needs and better your lifestyle. Friends and Family Credit Union provides loans, savings, checking, and other financial services to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Stark County. Our friendly staff is fully committed to serving over 11,000 of its members. What are you waiting for? Stop in one of our locations today to become a friend of the family. There has been an important local development in cancer care. The American College of Surgeons Commission on Cancer has given Stark County's Mercy Cancer Center the Outstanding Achievement Award. Even more, Mercy has won this award the fourth consecutive time, rare nationally and unmatched in Ohio. This is a fulfillment of Mercy's promise of the finest cancer care in the nation. These four awards are for you. Learn more at cantonmercy.org slash four awards. Thank you, Friends and Family Credit Union and Mercy Cancer Center. All right, start of the second quarter. Phoenix currently leading 24-15. With the ball is Thompson. Pass to Adams. Passing to deflect it. However, Phoenix get it back. Great ball movement by the Phoenix. And Chapman pulls up for three. Martin's going to grab the board. Pass way up court. Meant for Edwards, goes out of bounds. Tiger's gonna get it back. Williams inbounds to Sabo. Martin comes in to pick. Edwards pulls up for three. No good. Rebounded by Thompson. Chapman with the ball. Passes out. Adams is no good. The Phoenix get it back and manage to finish it off. That was Algo Mendez. Pass to Pedro. Martin pulls up for three. No good. It's going to be Tiger's ball there. Seven minutes left in the second quarter. Balls in mound to Sabo. Tiger's trying to send something up here. Pass into Martins, deflected by Chapman. Ako Bendis managed to get the rebound. Chapman for three. And that sinks. Great shot there by the Phoenix. Six and a half minutes remaining here in the first half. Pedro passed to Martin. Dishes into Williams. He goes up. No good. It's going to be the Phoenix ball. Got Stock coming in for Edwards here. Great ball movement here by the Phoenix. Chapman passes out to Thompson. Chapman drives in, kicks it out. Smithshack goes up. It's going to be a foul on the Tigers there. Phoenix going to take it. Jump ball. Pass the by Martin. Phoenix get it back. And Chapman pulls up for three. No good. Rebounded by Williams. Foul's going to be on Andrews there. Williams with the ball. Pass to Stock. Picked by Martin. Pedro pulls up and gets the easy layup there. Five and a half minutes left here in the first half. Chapman with the ball.
Akko Mendez at the top of the key. Blocked by Martin. Williams passes up to Martin. Goes up for the easy layup. And he'll get the foul for an extra layup shot. Great play there by Martin. 5.15 remaining. The Phoenix currently lead 29-7. 29-19. Martin's extra shot is good. Chapman with the ball. Picked by Smithshack. Chapman gets up for the three, but he can't sink it. Fouls call on Smithshack. Substitution for the Tigers. You got Sabo coming out and coming in for him is Jaden Wise. William tries up court. Wise comes to help out. Martin for three. And that's that goes right in there. 445 left in the first half. Thompson with ball. Tigers only six points behind now. Pass is blocked by Martin. However, recovered by Chapman. He goes up for three. Wise is going to pull it down. Williams loses control and manages to pull it back. Pass to Williams. Kicks it out the stock. The pump fake drive. Tries to go around him, but he gets it back. It's knocked loose and taken by Thompson there. He's on the fast break. The kick to Chapman. Great play there by Thompson. Just under three minutes left in the first quarter. Pass up court to Wise. First half, my bad. That's going to be a charge on Wise. He took Thompson down there. Thompson drives in and pulls up. It's a charge call on Thompson as he took Pedro down. No basket, that's an offensive foul. Thirty-one twenty-three Phoenix right now with three forty remaining in the first half. Williams the cross up. Pass it in to Martin, who pulls up, gets a foul. He'll shoot two of the line. Martin currently putting his team on his back with 13 points. Three and a half minutes left in the first half. His first shot's good. We got Sabo coming in for stock. And coming in for Sminchak is number 33, Charles. And Martin's second shot will fall as well. Thompson with ball. Great defense there by the Tigers. Ball is loose, covered by Williams. Drives to the hoop, gets the easy layup there. Tigers bring out the full court press. Ball's knocked loose by Wise, feeds it to Williams, loses control, manages to get it back. Martin can't get it going to be a half court violation on the Tigers over and back oh, 
with 2.53 remaining in the first half. Phoenix lead 31-27. Got Thompson with the ball, drives in, kicks it out to Adams. Drive by Chapman, loses control. It's gonna be a foul on the Tigers. Calls on number 22, Jaden Wise. Coming in for the Tigers, you got Stock subbing in for Wise. a timeout on the Phoenix. And now we're from Tower Industries. Thank you, Tower Industries. Phoenix currently lead 31-27. Two and a half minutes remaining in the first half. The Phoenix throw it out of bounds. It's gonna be Tiger's ball. Pass was meant for number two, Thompson. He drew inbounds to Williams. Sabo with the ball, drives in, goes up for the layup, no good, Stock pulls it back down. He'll put it back up and get the layup. Just over two minutes left. Tigers showing more of that full court pressure. Very popular with this Tiger team. Chapman with the ball. Pick by. Aqua Mendez and to get the ball. Jump ball. Tigers are gonna take it. Got Smidchak coming in for number 33, Charles. Stock with the ball. Martin with the fader. No good. It's Tigers ball. Out of bounds on number three. Chapman. One and a half minute left. Martin pulls up. It's an air ball saved by Stock. Out of the Phoenix going to take it. Pass the court to Alco Bendez. Passes it to Chapman, loses control. Drive by Thompson. That's going to be Phoenix ball. Shot there by Alco Bendez, no good. Rebound by Martin. Williams pulls up with the foul line. No good. Tigers gonna rebound it. Just under a minute left. Pedro with the layup, and that's gonna tie the game up here. Got 45 seconds remaining in the first half. Chapman, pump fake pulls up with three. No good. Williams with the pass to Stock, kicks it into Pedro. Gets the layup, what beautiful play, play there. The Great ball movement by the Tigers there. 20 seconds left. He drove, has to Williams. Williams taking his time here. It's 
It's going to be timeout, it seems. Officials taking a timeout. Tigers sub in number 15, Robertson. 15 seconds remaining in the first quarter, first half. Pedro at the ball. Six seconds left. Wise pulls up. No good. Sabo puts it back. It's the foul and the shot. Just under two seconds left. Sabo got the shot and the foul. Great play there. Got number three for the Tigers, Edwards, subbing in for Wise. And extra point is good. Inbound. One second left. Shot up by Stock. No good. That's the end of the first half. The Tigers currently lead the Phoenix 36-31. Now a word from Reliable Heating and Cooling and Discount Tire Outlet. There was a time when 10 miles to the gallon was acceptable. Today's 40 plus mile per gallon cars weren't even in the rear view mirror back then. Of course, this Linux air conditioner wasn't on the radar either. It's solar ready, the quietest, most energy efficient air conditioner you can own. It's time to live in the now. Call Reliable Heating and Cooling for the most advanced technology in heating and air conditioning. When you're ready to live in the now, call Reliable Heating and Cooling. Lennox, innovation never felt so good. Your first set of wheels didn't come with complications or strings or hassles. It can be that way again. There's a simpler way to buy tires at Tire Pros. We're hassle free, guaranteed. Thank you, Reliable Heating and Cooling and Discount Tire Outlet. What a half there, as you saw both teams holding a lead for at one point there. You saw the Phoenix coming out very strong, having a 10-point lead over the Tigers. Then the Tigers coming back in the second quarter, managing to take the lead from the Phoenix and finish off the half with the lead. Tigers definitely came into this game trying to match the pace of the Phoenix, and really and truly that just fatigued them, ending in the first half with a big deficit. He came out in the second quarter then and controlled the pacing, slowed it down, and Gave themselves the lead. Very good play from the Tigers in that second quarter. Absolutely. And you have Martin out here, an absolute unit for the Tigers with 15 points currently. Just putting the team on his back. And now a word from your pizza of Maslin. And Boys and Girls Club of Maslin. Serving the Maslin area since the 1960s, your pizza shop, located on Maslin's west side, has great tasting pizza and a whole lot more. Their large menu includes pizza, wings, pressure fried chicken, oven baked subs, and much more. Enjoy their hearty buffet Thursday through Sunday. Don't forget their convenient drive through window and delivery service. Be sure to visit any one of their numerous locations in Northeast Ohio. When you're ready for great pizza and more, stop into your pizza shop, located on Maslin's west side. The Boys and Girls Club of Maslin has been at the forefront of youth development, instilling a sense of competence, usefulness, belonging, and influence. The greatest contributions to the lives of our youth, our communities, our nation, and the world are the life lessons taught every moment of every hour of every club day. The youth of today become the leaders of tomorrow. Great futures start here. Welcome back Tiger basketball fans to the second half of the Phoenix at Tigers Washington High School. 
thank you, your pizza shop of Maslin and the Boys and Girls Club of Maslin. Tune in every Wednesday night at 7.30, 8.30, and 9.30, 9.30 and 10.30 p.m. for the Josh Host Show, brought to you by Reliable Heating and Cooling. Join us each week during the basketball season as Coach Hose gives us an inside look at the boys' basketball team. Watch the Josh Hose Hub Show only on MCTV Channel 611 and 11. During the first half, we saw some very explosive gameplay from both sides as they went back and forth the teams taking the lead and losing it. Now let's see if we can keep that kind of pacing here in the first half, in the second half, and see who's going to come out on top here. Everyone here at WHS TV would like to thank the following local advertisers for the support of our coverage of Maslin Tiger boys and girls basketball this season on MCTV channel 611 and 11. Reliable heating and cooling, the Boys and Girls Club of Maslin, Discount Tire Outlet, Medicap Pharmacy, Tower Industries, Friends and Family Credit Union, Mercy Cancer Center, Home Appliance, Expert Auto Collision, Maslin AAA, Your Pizza Shop of Maslin, and MCTV. Starting off the second quarter, he had Thompson with the traveling foul. Second half. Steal there by Chapman. Tashman for stock. He'll go up and get the easy layup. Williams with the ball. Martin drives in. Goes up to the fader. No good. Stock pulls it back down. Pass to Sabo. Sabo gets the easy layup. 7.15 left in the second half. Second, third quarter. Shot up and in there by Chapman. Pedro pulls up, gets the layup. With the ball right now, number 10, Buganya. Drive there. Layup attempt by Alco Bendez, no good. Mark Sabo. Great ball movement by the Tigers here. Stock drives in, gets the layup there. Great fake out there. So, um, looked like he was going to shoot one way, then he switched it around there. Managed to get it around the defenders. Drive, no good by Buganya. It's going to be Phoenix ball. Coming in for the Phoenix, you got Dushim, Dushime. Great pass there, Thompson has managed to get the shot though. Rebound by Martin. 5.40 left, third quarter. Shot up and in by Sabo. Pass knocked loose by Williams. Phoenix get it back. Chapman pulls up. No good. It's going to be out of bound on Alco Bendez. No, it's going to be Phoenix ball. Pass stolen by Williams. Passes. Tries to get the look past the Martin. However, he shoots it a bit too far. Pedro pulls up. And that's going to be up and in. 4-3. Chapman taking it up court. Just under five minutes left. It's going to be a timeout. And now a word from Expert Auto Collision. 
For nearly 40 years, Expert Auto Collision has been serving Stark County with premium customer service and collision repair. Bring your wrecked vehicle and they'll immediately get to work with you and your insurance company to get your vehicle back to pre-accident condition. Expert Auto Collision's professional crew has the experience and the drive to bring your damaged vehicle back to life. Don't let an accident get your goat. Come see me, Tara, at Expert Auto Collision, the only female-owned and operated collision repair center in Northeast Ohio. Expert Auto Collision, where we meet good people by accident. Thank you, Expert Auto Collision. And we're back with 4.52 remaining in the third quarter. Tigers lead 47-35. Thompson with the ball. Drives in. Gets the layup there. Williams with court to save up. Bounce pass to Martin who pulls up for the fader. No good. Rebounded by Dusheim. I'll go Bendez with the layup. Williams with the ball. Martin with the ball, backing down. Goes up for another fader. This time he sinks it. What a shot by Martin. Four minutes remaining in the third quarter. Chapman with the ball, pulls up, gets the shot. Williams with the ball. Past the stock, pulls up for three. No good. Thompson with the ball, past the Chapman. Kicks it out to Dusheim. Drive in. Post pull, Chapman pulls up, no good. Williams with the rebound. Passes forward to Stock. It's going to be a travel on Stock. Setting in for the Tigers. You got Robinson coming in for Stock. And they got 22 Wise subbing in for Pedro. Three minutes remaining in the third quarter. Chapman pulls up, gets the shot. Pass into Martin, backs down, pulls up for another fader. This one won't go. Chapman for three. No good, Williams with rebound. Got Robinson wide open, drives in. Shot no good, he gets it back, passes to Martin who comes in, gets the shot and the foul. Great play by Martin. 2.14 left in the third quarter. Martin's gonna shoot one at the line. And now a word from Friends and Family Credit Union. At Friends and Family Credit Union, you, the members, are the owners. Our friendly staff serves over 11,000 members, assisting with their financial needs and bettering their lifestyles. Hi, I'm Nick Langenfeld, President and CEO of Friends and Family Credit Union. Friends and Family Credit Union provides loans, savings, checking, and other financial services to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Stark County. Are you looking for something different? Stop in today to become a friend of the family. Thank you, friends and family credit union. With 2.14 left in the third quarter, Tigers currently lead 51-43. Tigers finishing up. Substitution being made.
What do you got? Martin at the foul line. And his shot is no good. It's going to be a travel call on Thompson. Slugging for the Tigers. Number two, Kai Shot Mack is coming in for Martin. I think that's Martin's first time out of the game tonight. I believe so. Williams to Wise. Robertson. Fouls called. Three Tigers ball. It's called on number three, Chapman. Subbing in, Phoenix. We got number 33, Charles, subbing in for Smithchak. Just over two minutes left. Inbound to Robinson, past the stock. Williams. Foul is going to be called on, on Kai Shot Mack. Got Martin subbing in for number 22, Wise. Not a long break for Martin right there. 145 left in the third quarter. Charles loses it, gets it back. Dushine back and down. Goes up, no good. Rebounded by Mack, but knocked loose by Chapman. Tigers will take it. Williams taking it up court. Pass to Stock. Picked by Mack. Oh, and Robinson tried to get the no look pass to Mack. However, Mack was not where he thought he was. It's going to be Phoenix ball. 115 remaining. Sabo subs in for Williams. Tom's with the pass to Chapman, who drives in and goes up. It's going to be a foul. He'll shoot two at the line. It's another foul on Mack there. Just over a minute remaining. First shot's good. Smithchak coming back in for Charles. And second shot's in by Chapman. Robinson with the ball, one minute remaining. Moore with the pass to Mack. Bounce pass to Martin. Martin drives in, gets the layup there, making it look easy. 40 seconds remaining. Got Thompson trying to get a fast break. No good. Mack will pull it down. 30 seconds left, third quarter. Sabo with the ball. Oh, he goes up, passes to Stock, who gets the layup. Great play by Sabo there. 20 seconds left in the third quarter. Chapman flying down the clock. Seven seconds left. Pick. Chapman for three. No good. And that's the end of the third quarter with the Tigers leading the Phoenix 55-45. And now a word from our friends over at Tower Industries and Medicap Pharmacy.
Hi, I'm Chris Kingsbury, and welcome to MediCap Pharmacy. Everyone knows it's the people that make the difference at your local MediCap Pharmacy. Oh, yes, I've been coming here for 15 years. Oh, they're so friendly. You walk in and they know you, they call you by name. Well, this is my drugstore. I don't live too far, and they're nice people. And don't forget about their free delivery. Support your locally owned independent MediCap Pharmacy, located on Lincoln Way West in Maslin. Thank you, Tower Industries and MediCap Pharmacy. We're back with fourth quarter action. Tigers currently leading the Phoenix 55 45. Tigers to the ball. Sable passes into Williams. Williams to stock. Martin for three. No good. It's going to be rebounded there by Charles. Chapman taking it up court. Got a three there by Adams. That's nothing but net. Great way to start the quarter. Williams showing some excellent ball handling. He drives in, gets the layup. 7.20 remaining in the fourth quarter. Thompson with the ball. And the shot no good by Charles. However, Thompson gets it back. It's blocked by Martin. Rebound by Williams, passes the stock. Martin. It's gonna be a offensive foul. Martin took him down. Shot won't count. Just like you said, minutes left in the game. Thompson with the ball. Past Adams. Kicks in to Charles. Goes up, gets the layup. Williams holding the ball, trying to set something up. Pass to Martin, he pulls up for three. No good. It's gonna be Phoenix ball. This is a very close game with 6.20 remaining, it's 57.50. Could go either way at this point. Pass in to Charles, gets the shot and the foul. Great play there. Hard to guard such a tall player. Especially down low in the post like that. Substitution for the Tigers. You got Wise subbing in for Martin. It's going to be Martin's second break of the night after that very short one in the third quarter. And the extra point is good by Charles. Williams up to Sabo. Sabo drives in, gets the foul. He'll shoot two as well. Call there is on Charles. Sable has been described as the hype man of his team. See how he does with his first shot here. First shot's good. Tigers currently with 14 fouls, while the Phoenix have three. Both of them have three timeouts remaining. Sable's second shot will fall as well. Counts with the ball. Pass to Adams for three, no good. Charles pulls it back down, gets blocked. It's gonna be a foul. Looks like it was on Sabo there. Just under six minutes remaining. Uh, 
His first shot's good. Second shot's good as well. Ball on bound to Williams. And the full court pressure from the Phoenix. Williams drives in. It's gonna be a reach in for the shot. Nope. He's gonna shoot two at the line. Williams for two. First shot, no good by the 6'1 sophomore. Got Martin coming back in. Slipping in for Stock. No one will be selling in for Sabo, it appears. Townsend with the ball. Shot no good. Rebounded by Wise. How the pass is blocked. Townsend will take it and pull up. Shot no good. Stock will pull it down. Stock drives in. Goes up. Shot no good. They'll get it back. And Wise will finish it with 5-10 remaining in the game. Steal attempt there by Wise. Great hustle, just couldn't stop himself. Passing to Thompson, almost as a control. Charles backing down, goes up, gets the easy layup. Williams taking the ball up court. 4.45 remaining. Martin drives in and goes up. Shot just falling out. He gets the foul for shoot two at the line. Martin is just putting this team on his back. This currently has 21 points. Only one foul. We need a timeout. And now a word from Discount Tire Outlet. The earth beneath my feet is turning like a wheel. Your first set of wheels didn't come with complications or strings or hassles. It can be that way again. There's a simpler way to buy tires at Tire Pros. For hassle-free guarantee. Thank you, Discount Tire Outlet. We're back with 440 remaining in the game. Tigers currently leading the Phoenix 61-57. Both teams at five fouls. This is a very close game. Teams coming back on. Martin at the line to shoot two. And his first shot's in. There it goes, second shot, nothing but net. Chapman with the ball. Pass to Thompson. Shot up there by Adams, three for nothing but net. Four, 15, nothing the game. It's only a three-point game now. Martin loses the ball. 
Being picked up there by Chapman. Makes a fast break. He gets the foul. Shot no good. Chapman currently has 24 points for the Phoenix. Shots in. He makes this. They'll be one point away. Tiger subbing in stock for Wise. Both teams currently with their starting lineups on the court. Second shot will fall as well. There's only a one point basketball game with four minutes remaining. Williams to Pedro. Foul's going to be called. It's going to be Tiger's ball. Fowler's from Adams. Shot up and no good by Stock, but Sable pull it back down and get the layup. Ball in Mount Chapman. 340 remaining. Chapman drives in, goes up. No good. It's going to be a jump ball. It's going to be Phoenix ball. Pass there to Charles. No Chapman. Pick by Charles. Got Thompson for a wide three. And that's in. It's going to tie the ball game up here. With 3-10 remaining. Stop with the ball. Pass it into Martin. Backs down. Goes up for a fader. Shot won't fall. Charles got the rebound. Could be the Phoenix chance to take the lead again. Ball stolen. Martin, however, he won't be able to grab it. Goes out of bounds. It's going to be Phoenix ball. Just under three minutes remaining. Tigers really need to gonna, really going to have to slow the pace down here. Absolutely. It seems like the Phoenix are trying to speed back up again, and that's what really gave them the lead in the first quarter. Pass deflected there. It's going to be saved, but Martin's going to take it. Martin's going to try and pull up for three. He's going to get it. Nothing but net. It's going to be a timeout. And now a word from Maslin Triple A. We were with Ruth when she ran into trouble on her way to play bridge with her friends. We were with the Nelsons when they planned their vacation of a lifetime. We were with Tina when she saved on the prescription she and her family need. And we'll be there with you. AAA membership gets you this, plus savings at hotels, restaurants, stores, and attractions when you show your card. Already a member? Renew. Not a member? Join AAA at AAA.com or any nearby office. AAA, we're always with you. Thank you, AAA. Massive AAA. Two and a half minutes remaining in the game. Tigers currently leading 68-65. It's currently Phoenix ball. Chandler with the ball, top of the key. Kicks it out to Adams. So it bounce off his foot. It's gonna be Phoenix ball. Williams trying to get a steal there. Kick the ball in accident. Chapman pulls up for three. No good. It's going to be Tigers ball there. One and one now for the Tigers. Here's Stocks going to shoot one at the line.
Shots up. It's no good, but Martin pulls it down. Doesn't manage to get it, but Stock gets the rebound as well. Gets another foul. He'll shoot two more at the line. Just over two minutes remaining in the game. Stock's first shot, no good. Second shot will sink. But the Tigers four points ahead. With the ball is Adams. So the Tigers running a 2-3. Brett Martin with the steal and the fast break. He's going to pull up and get the layup. 150 remaining in the game. Tigers with a six-point lead. Seems to be pulling ahead again. Passing to Charles. Back and down, misses the shot. He'll shoot two at the line. This is a foul on Martin there. Charles has been a key factor for the Phoenix in the fourth quarter, managing to put on many rebounds and getting, getting into the post, managing to get up over the other guys, and just make layups. Shot no good. Here shoot one more. 140 remaining in the game. Phoenix really need to get something started here if they want to come back. Second shot, no good. Chapman will get the rebound, however. He'll go up. No good. Rebounded by Alco Bendez. Gonna be Phoenix ball. Ball's inbound to Adams. Passes to Chapman. Chapman for three. No good. Williams with the rebound. 115 remaining, Sabo goes up, gets the foul, shot no good, he'll shoot two. With 115 remaining, Tigers currently leading by six points, they have a chance to push their lead to eight here. This first shot's no good. Second shot will sink. Tigers only have to defend their seven point lead. Thompson with the ball. Pass to Chapman. Kicks away out to Adams. Pulls up for three. It's not gonna go. Stocks get the rebound. 57 seconds left. Tigers just gotta wind down the clock now. Martin with the ball. Foul's going to be an Adams. Stock's going to go to the line for one and one. 45 seconds remaining in the game. Phoenix is going to call a timeout. And now a word from Boys and Girls Club of Maslin. The Boys and Girls Club of Maslin has been at the forefront of youth development, instilling a sense of competence, usefulness, belonging, and influence. The greatest contributions to the lives of our youth 
our communities, our nation, and the world are the life lessons taught every moment of every hour of every club day. The youth of today become the leaders of tomorrow. Great futures start here. Thank you, Boys and Girls Club of Maslin. Keep up to date with WHS TV on social media. Be sure to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe to our WHS TV's YouTube channel, where you can see some of WHS TV's best moments. With 45 seconds here, the Phoenix really need something special if they want to come back here. He got stock at the line for one and one. If he makes this, it could be the end of the game for the Phoenix. Stock shot is good. Seems like this could be the nails in the coffin for the Phoenix. His second shot's in as well. 45 seconds remain. Pass to Chapman, pulls up for three. No good. And Martin's at the ball with 30 seconds left. Phoenix applying the full court press. He's gonna pass to Pedro, barely managed to save it. It's gonna be a Tiger timeout with 26 seconds remaining. WHS TV would like to thank the following staff members for their assistance during the basketball season. Thanks to WHS principal, Mr. Watchlager, CTE director, Mr. Thornsberry, Athletic Director, Mr. Moore, and Assistant Athletic Director, Mr. Patches. WHS TV appreciates your continued support throughout the school year. The Tigers really just have to wind down the clock here as there's not much else that the Phoenix can do. The leading score for the Tigers currently is Brett Martin with an astonishing 28 points as he's just seemed to put the team on the back. However, for the Phoenix, you got number three, Chapman, who's got 26 points, which also is nothing to scoff at. Both teams having very impressive layers. We're back, Tigers ball. 26 seconds remain. Pass to Martin, shot goes up, no good. It's gonna be a foul, Phoenix ball. Clock stopped at 24 seconds. He'll go one and one at the line. Be sure to join WHS TV for our next broadcast of Maslin Tigers girls basketball. On Wednesday, February 6th, our Lady Tigers take on Lake here in the Tiger Gym. Watch the rebroadcast starting on Thursday, February 7th at 8 p.m. Then on February 8th at 8th, 9th, and 10th at 12, 4, and 8 p.m. Tune in all season long for Tiger boys and girls basketball on WHS TV. That's MCTV channel 611 and 11. Shot won't fall, covered by Martin. 15 seconds remaining. It's going to go out of bounds. Clock stops at 11. Phoenix ball. And it seems like this one's gonna go to the Tigers. Ball's in on Thompson. Tries to make it up the court. Seven seconds left. Goes in. Foul's called. He'll shoot two at the line with five seconds remaining. Tigers with a nine point lead. First shot's good. Puts the Tigers lead down to eight points. Second shot falls as well. Falls in the mound of Martin. 
Three seconds remaining. Fouls called. He'll go one and one at the line. Two and a half seconds are in the game. And his shot is no good. Shoot one more. Second shot, sinks. With one second remaining. That is the end of the game. Tigers take the win 75-67. That'll push the Tigers record up to five and six. And it'll push the Phoenix record down to 10 and three. Great game played here on both sides. You had the Phoenix with a very strong start. However, the Tigers just managed to take the pace of the game, slow it down, and really come out ahead. You've seen the Phoenix try to bring the tempo up there early in the fourth quarter and during the third quarter. The Tigers definitely were able to handle that and bring the uh, pacing back down to end the game. Yeah. You see the Phoenix playing with a very accelerated pace like that. Their guys are getting tired a lot quicker than ours, and they can just cause us for a lot more problems. You got Martin on the board with a Incredible 29 points to finish off the game here. Great game by Martin, because he had almost he had almost uh, half of the team points. Martin only having a single break during the entirety of the game. It was one possession long. Yeah, just great play there all around. You had Chapman on the Phoenix as well, who had 26 points, which is just as important as Martin. Finishing up here tonight, we'd like to thank our WHS TV crew, which features Nick McCartney, Daniel Stewart, and Billy Burek on camera, Maddie Hoffman on graphics, Keyshawn Dorsey in color commentary, and yours truly on play by play, Jeff Higgins. And now, and now final word from MCTV. And Your business needs reliable communications to be up and running and to stay connected. That's why area businesses rely on MCTV Business Pro, the area's leading communications provider for internet, voice, and television. Reliable technology, expert service, and personalized local support for area manufacturing, retail, municipal, and professional services. All from MCTV Business Pro. Call today for a free consultation. My name is Ken Hendricks. I'm a retired Maslin police officer and a part-time police officer at Dalton. I am the Cops for Kids committee chairman. I'm also the immediate past president of Fraternal Order of Police, Henderson Lodge 105 here in Maslin. My name is Santa Claus. I'm the head elf and lead performer today. I have been with this particular organization over 30 years. We would get children that are sponsored or they apply for our program for the Salvation Army in Maslin. It's uh, families who are in need at the time around Christmas. Uh, we, our big thing is to try to get them toys and clothing. Thank you. Well, we are real fortunate to be able to go shopping with the cop, and we're really excited. Jackson gets to pick out his own Christmas presents this year, so it's really, really exciting. We've had some churches, schools as well call us, and then the area police departments in Western Stark County will call us and have families that they're aware of in their communities where they've had a house fire or the only provider for their homes lost their job or had passed away or a child has a serious illness and medical bills are just ridiculous and they need help. My name is Josh Greenlaw. I am the vice president of the Alert React Response Team. We've helped out with the Cops for Kids as a volunteer group. We help back the police departments and the fire departments locally and across Stark County. Uh, we've, we've been doing this now for the last five or six years. We love coming out and helping with this and being with the kids and shopping with everybody. I mean, this is like our Christmas to us. This is our biggest thing we do every year. We love doing this. We love seeing all, this, all the, the, the support we, that they, these officers can get. Our transportation is provided by area transportation services, which if we did not have their help, 
we would, there's no way we could do this program. It's uh, a big operation. A lot of the families, because of their lack of funds or the situation they're in financially, may not have vehicles to co come here and get involved with our program. So we have school buses from Masson City Schools, buses from SARTA, and even uh, a few people, uh, one of our members of the Fraternal Order of Police Association, uh, a relative of mine, and a few others that will donate their personal vehicles and go out, pick up the kids and their parent or guardian at home, and bring them here. I'm Officer Anderson with Maslin PD. I'm the president of Henderson Lodge, our, our uh, FOP Lodge, and I'm uh, one of the uh, co-chairpersons on the uh, Cops for Kids Committee. Once we get here, Maslin McDonald's provides breakfast for everybody involved. Then once we're done eating, we have the kids pair up with a police officer, either active or retired, state troopers, sheriff deputies, whoever we can get that helps us out, even our family members and we take them in a police escort from here to Maslin Target where they'll do their shopping. Yeah, our program came in existence 30 years ago. One of our retired sergeants now, Chuck Meyer, had set this program up after he got the idea from Las Vegas PD. My name is Corey. I am the store team leader here at the Maslin Target store. Um, so we just filled the store with, uh, we had a big truck yesterday and then also taking on extra fills throughout the back room just to bring it out onto the floor. So really focused in on the areas that they're going to be shopping in, obviously toys and uh, soft lines areas. So we made sure we staffed heavy over there and then I'll also bringing in enough team members to be able to run this event. So just making sure um, good amount, that way they have questions out there while they're shopping, like there's going to be someone that they can find and easily assist them to find the product that they're looking for. So we give each child $100 to uh, spend for Christmas. They have to have uh, their parent or guardian with them because they'll know their clothing sizes and things they might need. When we're all said and done, load them back up, another police escort back to Washington High School. The kids don't know, but we have a special surprise for them each and every year for the past, I would say, at least eight to ten years. Toys for Tots heard of our program. A good friend of mine who runs that program had asked us if we needed help because $100 doesn't go very far. So we kind of encouraged the parents to get the clothing and things that they need and maybe a toy or two because we've got approximately $2,000 worth of toys on the stage set up for kids from infants, newborns, to the age of 12 years old. My part of it, I coordinate the officers and um, the liaison between the lodge and the police department. It's a beautiful program and I know the kids always have a lot of fun. I always have a lot of fun with it too. I joined cosmetology because I've always loved coloring hair and different colors and makeup. I joined media because I've always had a passion for all things related to media. I've always had a passion for teaching other people, especially topics that I'm interested in. I want to pursue a career as an orthopedic surgeon. And so when I saw that we had this class, I immediately circled it on my schedule and was excited to join.
This class has made me better because it made me very responsible. I like the relationships that I've developed in this class. The girls that are in here with me, I've really grown close with all of them. I joined this class because I enjoy helping others and I want to make a difference. Even like just making something and having people go, wow, that's really interesting. It means the world. It was just a really good environment to be in. It was real hands-on and it was just something I really wanted to do. I joined the construction trades to gain experience in the job I want in the future. Everything that this class has taught me will account for my career in the future. Before I came to this class, I was unemployed and Ms. Markley helped me get a job. I'm going to use what I learned in manufacturing in order to better decide my career. It gave me more knowledge on cars and gave me plans to go in the auto industry. Maslin CTE works for me. 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 Works for me. For me. For me. For me. Maslin CTE works for me. For me.